Wait one second, me and John record that should be recording now. Okay, hello and welcome back to Minecraft Young Paradise Gold Age, episode 5, 600, 617. Hopefully, you are all doing okay today and staying safe. Oh, sorry, I'm a bit out of breath right now, but hopefully, you have been doing okay today and staying safe. So, last episode. Well, I better walk backwards <laughs> if I'm going to show what I did last episode. Okay, but hopefully, you have been doing okay today and staying safe. So, last episode we did a bit of work in the artificial cave, working on some old projects of mine. And we have finally gotten maybe like one of them to fully work, I think. Because one of them, our auto smelter, seems to not work very well. Because it only goes to these three furnaces here. I don't know if I should put the chest more along. So it can gather it and then dispense it along more. I don't know. It's still a work in progress idea. And then we built the melon farm. This should work at some point. It it takes a long time to actually grow melons. But hopefully it does work by the end of today, maybe. And also, I, I, I also noticed, right, we have not worked on this tunnel in a long time. You can actually see how we originally put the melon farm here, but also where we were mining towards. But then I've been looking at the map, right? And I've been wondering, where are we mining from? So we're mining from this area up here. Because this is our artificial cave main entrance. So we should be, that should be the blueberry tunnel. And then that should be the tunnel that we're in the now. But I've also noticed how close we are to the catacombs. And it is quite weird. I also did think maybe we might work on the catacombs today. But then I thought, I really don't have any good ideas for the catacombs right now. I'm, I'm still working on the catacombs. But I just need to figure stuff out so, you know, it actually work the way that I want it to. Because I've, I've been trying to remodel it in my head, trying to make it look a little bit nicer. But I have been at a standstill with that build project. Uh, let's see, and I also realise how dark it is around here. I should really get some lights up there. Hmm. Why is there a bunch of holes in the ceiling there? I think I might have wanted to uh, make this a little bit taller. It would not actually look too bad if it was a bit taller. Maybe like one more block. Not too bad, not too bad at all. You know what, I really do need to add something to this area. I feel like I've not added anything to this area in such a long time. But I really can't pick what I would want to add to this area. The last thing that we properly added was, uh, I think, bushes. Yeah, We added a lot of bushes and then before that, that, and then before that, our tunnel over here that was supposed to go somewhere, but we never got around to uh, doing that. And also, I think I built it too big, so that's why I... Uh, didn't really like that tunnel bit there. And then we have Tenko's Witch Room. That I've yet to use because I don't actually have a magic mod at the moment. And you can see what I had for the last magic mod. Hmm. I'll, I'll get around to doing a magic mod at some point. I'll, I'll need some suggestions if I'm doing another magic mod. Because the magic mod that I did before... I can't remember what it was called, natural, or something, simple natural magic or something. But that didn't really work out too well for me, and, uh, I got, like, so close to trying to get magic, but for some reason it just will not work. Every single magic mod that I've had, I always get, like, so closer, you know, end up not, never using it because it's so complicated that I can't actually understand anything in the mod. So that's why we normally don't do anything with the magic mods. You know what, I should really upgrade this bridge. I have some wood on me. Uh, let's see. The reason why I wanted to upgrade this bridge is that I, I keep seeing it every single time that I'm watching my videos right over. Just trying to make sure they're all okay and you know, see if I can notice something. And that's not a pun that my character down here is called okay. Just so you know. Uh, maybe I should make the middle a little bit thinner. Would that look a little bit nicer? It kind of looks like a dumbbell now, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. 
I may actually trim that back. Almost just broke the oak log there. I think a single file bridge would look a little bit nicer. But I feel like I would make it go upwards a bit. Just so it looks a little bit nicer. Something around there. Uh, let's see. And then maybe make it go up again? Nah, I feel like that's kind of nice like that. It reminds me of the... There was this place back in the day and... It was a forest, I can't remember what it was called. But it was a forest that I used to walk through with my school back in the day a long, long time ago now. But I remember it so clearly. Because I remember one area, they added a bunch of stuff to, you know, make it more friendlier to kids. Because the place wasn't really that, you know, nice. But uh, they added these uh, walkway bits that you could walk and also ride a bike along. So it was quite nice, that. And I remember they had this big thing, and you had to try and make it stable. And it's like, you know, how, how would you describe it? You have a bit in the middle, and then you have a platform. But when you step on one side, it goes down. Kind of like a seesaw. It's a big, ginormous seesaw. But very complicated, and you know, trying to do that was so hard, I tell you. Because you had to get so many people to actually listen, to actually, you know, progress or do anything with it. Uh, and I also think I might actually remodel the entrance of this. Yeah, I think I might actually remodel the entrance of this. Hmm. I, I, I already just, uh, I think it was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday we just remodeled this when I was building the, uh, what do you call it, mob, no, not mob farm. Why the same mob, mob farm? Uh, I'm just not very good at speaking today, though, right now. Okay. But, last episode we worked on the melon farm, that's what it was. And, and also, if you don't know how this melon farm works, the pistons go down. When these detect movements from that going and attaching to another block. That's how it's supposed to work. I realise how much trapdoors I actually placed around here. An idea was to place so many trapdoors on the walls. Because I wanted to do something with the walls. But I would really love to put wood behind these now. Because I feel like if I do like some dark wood with the light wood it would look so nice. Kind of like dark oak wood. Uh, let's see. You know what, I might actually go and do that. Uh, I just remembered I have so many uh, glowstones around here. Well, they mostly line up against other glowstones. Is that directly here? Yeah, it's in the middle. Okay, I should know what I'm doing. There we go. And there we go again. Place that there. And then we'll place a bunch of dark oak along here. And also I realise how much uh, I am dire need of wood. Because we have ran out of wood for jungle wood I think. And then we're soon to run out of oak wood and dark oak wood. So we might have to go and head out and go get some of that very soon. stone there yeah and then I would probably just place that on the other side yeah that's not too bad that's not too bad at all I feel like it's what I was kind of going with this here the spruce wood this leads to my uh, train area that I'm still supposed to work on I keep forgetting about it and then I never get around to doing so. And I'm actually working on an idea with it to turn it into a single track. Because I've realised how big and how much iron it will take to actually do this idea. And I could go with this idea and then combine it into one. Because I'm thinking about a slip track and I don't know how a slip track works so... It'd have to wait a little while. Uh, let's see. I realise how dark it is down here. Don't know why I never lit up. 
Uh, let's see. Maybe at some point soon I might actually get around to doing that. I think that's what I'll do. Uh, let's see. What was I going with for the stuff around here? Spruce wood? Oh, that would be so hard to get. I'm telling you, spruce wood is quite hard to get for me. Either that, we could uh, grow it up at the tree farm area. And that, that would be a little bit easier. I'm pretty sure I actually have a little bit of spare wood of it. But I can either continue with the tunnel being like this, or continue with the new idea that I just created down there. And I also need to fix this one by putting in the stone back in there. Uh, let's see, and the reason being that all of that is very dangerous territory because we're under the ocean. This ocean has so many down points and up points that I just run into it so often it's so annoying. Uh, let's see, there we go, just fill that in. But we'll get around to uh, working on our train tunnel in a long, well not that long time, in a little while. Uh, let's see, I do want to work on it soon. And also, I do actually have a plan of where it's actually going to go. So, we want to make it connect up to this island, but not fully connect up there. This island's going to be untouched. And then it's supposed to go downwards, and then it switches directions again, and then connects up with Village Zero. We're going to make a little tiny train station somewhere around here. And then we're going to reconstruct this entire village. Because it is absolutely in pieces. You can see, you know, the burnt down houses and all that. Explosions and all that. Because it was attacked by mobs. Quite harsh. Not the harshest, actually. I just remembered. The harshest would actually be what happened to Village 3 up here. I'm pretty sure it was Village 3. You can see how much damage was done to this place with how many uh, of the houses are. That house roof there, that's just a roof. There is nothing left up underneath. Uh, I still remember that time. Not too long ago, I don't think so. Maybe it is long for use now. But I would say it's not too long ago. But then when I think about it, it's probably very, very long ago. Uh There we go. And your torch glowstone will be here, right? Yes. And it was right in the right position there. Yeah, we'll get uh, trapdoors to go all the way around in this wall bit here. Kind of just uh, clean it up and make it look a little bit nicer. Just it's so expensive to do these walls all the time. And then break that. I'll grab some of my dark oak logs. You know what, that would actually be quite nice. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad at all. And go like that. Magma really takes a number on my uh, armor. But that's not actually too bad. That looks a lot nicer than what I had before. I should really just strip that away. Or maybe even turn this into like a pillar or something. Or maybe something here. I feel like that would be the best decision. There we go. There we go, yeah. Hides it from it being noticeable. There we go. That should blend in a little bit well. And also you can see these uh, lights here. The roof used to not be this height. We had a ogre attack, and I think that's what made the made the roof a little bit taller. And you can realize how dark it gets without not actually being there. Uh, go like that. 
I'll put the glowstone back in, but then it really is just so dark about it being here. You know what, break that, because I feel like if I hit some glowstone behind there, it'll light up the wall a little bit nicer. But I feel like it should be on the other side. But then, yeah, never noticed that there was a string there. Hmm. Or maybe I should just do another glowstone on the ground, right? There we go. Does that look a little bit nicer? It kind of looks a bit more darker, doesn't it? Not as light as it used to be. Ah, uh, let's see. Either that I could hang them from the ceiling, that could work. And also it kind of looks like a face, doesn't it? Kind of reminds me of, uh... What's that enemy from, uh, Paper Mario? I can't remember its name. The Fuzzy Sing. Fuzzy Pete. No, not Fuzzy Pete. I don't think it was. Uh, let's see. One of those things. And also, have you activated it all? No, no you have not. And also, what did I turn off? Okay, it should all be... Work in there. Okay. Well, we can get out of here now. I think I worked on this a bit too much today. Should have been working on something else. I do really like this wall that we created here. I don't know if I should get rid of the glass just to make it look a little bit nicer. Also, the granite there is the original face where it used to start and end. Uh, it's weird to think how much this has changed over the years that we've been playing in this world. I want to break down this so badly. But my main objective right now is this. So I am going to grab as much of this cob and putting that andesite back. Andesite is more expensive for builds than uh, cobblestone is. And we are going to go and fill all this in so we don't have to deal with it. Now, I know I built this so long ago for another build. It's called, like, Five Falls or something. And I was going to use this as a little area just to calm down, you know, chill for a while. But that never really happened, so it just became unused. But I feel like just keeping this here will be, you know, not too nice. It's a nice idea, but the execution is, like, half half. There we go, we're, we're closing off the water streams today. No more tough for you. Why did it not place where I wanted to place it? There we go. All the water streams off. And now we just fill in all of this over here. Now the reason why I wanted to fill in all of this over here, I know it looks, you know, nice. We would just say that. But it's because I want to build it off in that direction and I don't know if this will cause any troubles. But I feel like this area being down here does not really make any sense. It was a nice idea when I first created it, but when I saw the opportunity to actually expand the original, you know, Artificial cave, this is what this is called. I might as well take the opportunity to actually, you know, build off in that direction at some point. Don't know what I would want to build, but I might as well use this uh, pumpkin and all that farm while I have it. I realise how much uh, melons really take up your inventory. And I can actually shove it in there now. It's a good farm, right? But, I don't know how you would describe it. It's very complicated. The redstone down below took me a while to figure out and all that. And it's probably not going to be my most complicated. But, but I do want to build a mushroom farm at some point to grow mushrooms. But I'm going to be using that probably out of date one. I don't know if it actually is still working. So, you know, it's got to be you know, a trial and error. 
And also, you can hear my chocobos. So I must be near my uh, cottage. No, I'm directly under where the chocobos are normally. T taken care of. And put that back. Place that on the side there, place that back. There we go. And we'll just start filling all of this in. And we'll see. So, for you who are watching this video, and this might be your first episode, you will get to witness the last uh, time being in this one area. It's always fun, you know, seeing like, you know, one area just change so much. But this area, it never actually got used for the purpose that it was supposed to have, and that was to be a chill area for me. So I could just chill and, you know, just play around and do random stuff. Maybe I just wanted to sit down for a while and just talk to you. Ah, we'll see. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh yeah, I do have some uh, uh, have something to talk about. Also, while we're here, so recently I picked up a book. I don't have it right next to me, so I can't pronounce the title very well. But it's the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. I think it's called. And it's basically like Winnie the Pooh, but not Winnie the Pooh. But when I first got the book. Well, when I first heard about the book, was from a book recommendation video on YouTube. I was looking for cool books to read and all that. Uh, let's see. And this is one of them that came around. It's kind of like Winnie the Pooh, I would say. Uh, let's see. That's how someone described it when I was watching one of the uh, book recommendation videos. But I've not read it yet. But the first thing that I... Uh, well, I might as well re sing you that sentence a bit there. So, when I first found out about the book, I wanted it for uh, Christmas, but I never got it for Christmas, as it was a very hard book to try and find. But just the other day, I was in a shop, and then I was reading through a bunch of the books, right? Like, it was two days ago, I think. I was reading through uh, a bunch of these uh, books in the book section. And then I spotted it. A book that I have been looking for so long. And that is the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. I looked for so long for it and I finally found it. Uh, it was so great when I first found it. Kept it next to me for the rest of the day. Uh, but it took forever to find that book, huh? I was looking for that book for ages. Uh, let's see. But it has such a nice uh, book design to it. Because it's like a drawn style on the front of it, right? But the thing is, it has this bit on the side, right? And it's like, you know the old books back in the day? I don't know if they still make those kind of books. But the rough outside of a book. They used to have them for uh, books all the time back in the day. They don't really do them as much as they do today. But it's like that, but it has like... It's the quarter of the book. It's where the spine is of the book. And it only has it there. But it is quite nice the way that it's you know, designed. Because it goes... Uh, that and then... Uh, how, how would I describe it? The modern style of books with the nice soft covers. Uh, let's see. So I picked that up not that long ago, right? Now, so excited. I have not read it yet. Uh, let's see, I think the last uh, book that I was reading was a manga book, and that was uh, The Masterful Cat, I see it, The Masterful Cat is Depressed Again. That is a great book, I would recommend it, it's a great manga book, if you're into manga. Uh, let's see, but I quite enjoyed that book, it was so, it was funny, but it was also a nice story to it. Uh, let's see, it's only volume one, I don't have the rest of them. Uh, let's see. Normally I would get the first volume and then see how I like it and then decide do I want to get the rest of them. But then it's just a satisfying thing about not actually seeing the rest of the stories. Oh yeah, 
another book that I'm reading through. Well, another book series that I'm reading through. I do want to actually watch the anime of this one. And that's uh, The Way of the Household Husband. That is a great book. It kind of reminds me of uh, the Yakuza games for some reason. Uh, let's see. It just reminds me of that for some reason. Kind of like the comedic style of that. But it's like a comedic book. Would recommend checking it out for yourselves. The Way of the Household Husband. It's a great book. And a great series of books. That are manga books. Uh, let's see. There we go. That is not too bad. And what else can we talk about while I'm filling all of this in? We've actually filled in quite a lot of it. The reason why I'm filling in to like full maximum capacity is because uh, I don't want any mobs spawning down here once I get all of the lights out of here. Normally I would destroy all of the lights, but I feel like, you know, if I accidentally mine into this place, you know, at least I have a indicator of what this is. Also, I was wondering why the, the screen was so grey there. Uh, let's see. I don't know if it changes the colours in my recording, but my monitor has a game mode on. I don't know. And I don't know if it changes the colour for uh, the recording. It, I think it might do. So, if you're wondering why, you know, this is different from the last videos, because of probably that. Sometimes I don't actually turn it on. <laughs> Uh, I just, you know, set up recording and then I normally start recording right away, so I normally forget about it. But Barry uh, turned it on for me. Because I cannot find that button. Sometimes I can find it, but then I just click the wrong button. Uh, you ever have that problem trying to find the buttons under the monitor? Don't know who decided to have, you know, sensor buttons like that. It's very hard. Ah, uh, let's see. At least it isn't as hard as my last monitor's button. See, you had to press them in quite hard there. Does it go fully grey? Yeah, it goes like a fully grey there, when I, like if I hold this in, do you see it? I don't know if you see it, but maybe, maybe you just think I'm, you know, crazy. But it's there. It turns grey like, you know, it turns up the grey saturation, kind of blurs it a little bit. Because there's so much grey on the monitor. Ah, uh, let's see. It's getting annoying. I don't see it there, but, you know, you see it the other way. Oh, I really did like this uh, ceiling up here that we did. It turned out quite nice. There we go. And I do not have any more stone. That is quite annoying. Hopefully the grey, you know, thing does not actually annoy you too much. It's quite annoying to me. But hopefully it does not annoy you. You know what, I'll head over to this one over here. This double chest. Ah, we'll see. No, I don't actually have any cobble in there. We'll just head around then. Up to the entrance. That's just around the corner. And I need to eat some baked potatoes. I normally forget about eating while I'm playing games. Uh, not in real life, but in the game I forget about eating. Oh, it makes me want to play Daisy again. I'll play Daisy on the channel at some point soon. Might do it today or something. Uh, let's see. But it's been quite a while since I last played Daisy. I think it's been since the start of the year. The last time I played uh, Daisy. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, let's see. It's been quite a while. Hopefully I've not lost my edge on the game. Uh, let's see. I noticed that, right? Sometimes I'm skilled with old games, but then sometimes I've just lost my skill from all of the old games. Like, ever since he brought in bullet drops and, you know, how far you can shoot, it's been very hard to actually shoot in games. Now, you, you just probably don't notice 
you know, people who play modern games. But I sure do notice, you know. And it's sometimes, you know, very odd. Because you think, you know, this bullet shall hit that person at that range. And I think one of the games that was actually helping me at the time trying to, you know, be a better shot in games would probably have to be, uh, what's it called? Uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands, I think that's what. That was a great game to understand uh, how far you could actually shoot in games like that. And you're probably wondering, that is such a weird, you know, one to say. But then it is kind of true, because, you know, you had there's a game mode in it, or, you know, difficulty, that turns it to be more realistic while you fire. And I always loved that, because, you know, I would actually, you know, think about how far, where's the wind, and I would try and predict, and I almost perfected, you know, fire and a sniper rifle at, you know, fire distances. I always had an MG and I always had a sniper rifle. But if I ever played Division, I would probably go with an MG and then, you know, another weapon. Can't remember what weapon. Something hard hitting. There, it's just something that reminded me of that. Uh, let's see. What what else can I talk about? Hmm. Right, let me see. Let me try and think of some stuff. Well, about that thing about bullet drops and all that. The thing that mostly reminds me of my skill dropping was how skilled I was at Battlefield 1, right? I was a top player at Battlefield 1. Each round I got, I got like, you know, at least 40 to 60 kills. But now I can't even get that. I can barely get like 17 kills. I think my average was 13 to 17 kills back in like 2019 and that was since the game released in 2016 with Titanfall 2 huh? uh, let's see oh, that's not too bad okay but I remember my skill just dropping at that point and then uh, I, I finally got a little bit better I think I was getting like 24 kills at some point but then I stopped playing for a while and my kill ratio went down to like four, maybe three around. Uh, and then I discovered the power of a mortar cart. I used to dispense so much gas, smoke, and explosives on the enemy team that you know it just obliterated the enemy. I actually have Battlefield One on the PC. I've I've not tried it yet. I don't know if it will run on my PC. My PC be, may be good, but I don't know if it's that good to run Battlefield One. You know how good day graphics are still after uh, still after almost eight years. It's seven years now. Six, yeah, four. Almost eight years since the game released. Zoe, what are you doing at your cage again? I tell you, Zoe always escapes out her cage. And then sometimes she duplicates, or ice duplicates. That well, that's another story for another time. Ah, uh, let's see. But you know, even still, that my game you know, skills have dropped, I do try to improve certain games, like Minecraft. Over this entire uh, series that I've been doing, over 600 episodes plus all the other seasons, I feel like my building skills have increased, but the problem is to get in stuff that I want to look right. Because I have the problem when you're trying to make something look nice, but then it doesn't actually look nice. Uh, let's see, 2089, I'm pretty sure I do, you know what, before we end today's episode, I don't want to get another Dark Manta Core, I have another Dark Manta Core, <laughs> but I want to try and, uh, I'm going to head to the nether for a second so we can grab a egg of a certain creature, I'll tell you once we get there what it is, I'll tell you, it's, it's, it's fun, Learning all the ways to get down from this uh, place over the many years that I've been playing this world. Uh, sorry, I just got reminded of something there. And that is not where I was supposed to go. I was supposed to go in the nether portal. Sorry, I got reminded of uh, our pool of water used to be like landmass. Huh? 
I do kind of miss, you know, the trees and all that hidden grotto, hidden oasis. Huh? I got three manacore eggs, fire manacore eggs. Okay, I think that should be us, uh, fire manacore. I didn't realize I had so many fire manacores. Wait, shove that back in there. I'm gonna get the most recent one. This is the most recent one. And also, I'm very glad that I don't have to deal with too many gas issues around here. And that my nether portal actually functions as a normal nether hub now. Uh, let's see. I also think uh, we have a problem with... Uh, do we have any ice mana cores left? So, I want to try and get a fire mana core, but I want to name it after a previous commenter. Because the one that I used to have for a previous commenter sadly died for some reason. Like it just obliterated into non-existence. And I don't think I actually have any eggs left. I think I would need to head back to the ice biome of a one and a half ice manticore. Well, it doesn't matter. I can get one manticore today. And I want to dedicate this one as it is my first fire, fire manticore, not firecracker. Uh, let's see. Our first fire manticore. I want to dedicate it to a old commenter. That a previous one was named after, but uh, sadly that one was uh, died due to suffocating in this wall somehow. But we have 289 in here, and we used to have Ava, but this one over here shall be called Evoker after the original uh, commenter from a long time ago. I'm talking about almost uh, two years now. That's how old that commenter used to comment on this video. I think they only left like one or two, but sadly they uh, have not actually commented again. Like 2089 is just a bit of one of the main names of one of the commenters. Okay. Evoker. There we go. A little fire mantico. Oh, it's so cute. We have 2089 over here. 2089 was our second mana core? Or we got Evoker first? I think we got Evoker first and then 2089. Because I accidentally got one of the eggs by accident. And then later on we got Ava, about a year later. A, our first ice mana core. And that's why I wanted to save uh, getting another ice mana core. Means we'll get the full trio again. But also, if you're new, you can also be added to the commenter garden. Our latest commenter is Ratdog, being the first of the second line. They also have a Minecraft, uh, long run in Minecraft series, over a thousand and a hundred episodes, eleven 1 hundred episodes, I think. So you can go check them out as well. And uh, let's see. And it, it's because you know I quite enjoy their series. I watch it every once in a while. I had to make sure I'm always kept up on the series. Uh, it's weird to think, you know. No vanity, chota fuck game and the Greek soldier. Two years ago, these people were added to the Comte Garden. I say two years, but the Comte Garden have uh, has changed over the many uh, times that I've built it. Because it used to be just a wall of color. It used to be these colors down here. Red was on the outside, purple was in the middle. I'm pretty sure these are some of the original main blocks of the colorful rainbow wall. But then I changed it to a heart, and then I changed it to a heart again, and then I changed it to a heart again. Because I took all the glass out of it, because I didn't really like how it looked. But I think this looks, you know, quite nice. I was thinking about making it go deeper in, so it looks more, you know, 3D. But I quite enjoy it the way that is. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Eh, uh, let's see. I quite enjoy that. And the wood around it really does uh, make it look a lot nicer. Again, it reminds me of a pin board. But also, if you're new, you can also be added to the comment garden. Just gotta say that again. All you need to do is just comment down below. But the rules will change in the future. I do plan on uh, changing it to just be fan art and some other stuff. Like, hmm. 
I can't remember what I was going to say there. And then I also do have uh, something that I want to work on, or either tear down. I either want to tear down this bit here and turn it back into its original mountain, or I want to keep this here. And this was uh, the place I was going to use for my sponsorships, but I never got any. So it's just been blank for ever. <laughs> for two years it's been blank. But that doesn't really matter. I don't really care. Uh, let's see. Hello there, piggy. How are you doing? You doing good? I really need to har harvest this uh, nether wart. Uh, can't remember what one was a good pig. One of these was a good pig and one was an evil pig. Oh, a diamond pig. You know what? I think we might have a good idea for next episode. So, sadly, in my world, we cannot long... Totally forgot that I revived my wife. A long time ago, on the 8th of June 2021, I sadly lost Diamond Pig, my uh, Diamond Pig with Diamond Armor, that I used to ride mm. everywhere, just for fun. Uh, let's see. But sadly, none of these normal pigs actually work for the mod. So I was thinking, how about we do like a sacrificial, uh, like live stream? Uh, we sacrifice some uh, stuff and we revive, not revive the same pig, but allow a new pig to be born into the world. And I think I know what I would do for it, uh, because I have a perfect idea. Now I won't tell you right away, but you know. We might as well walk there first and then I'll tell you. Uh, let's see. So the idea is, I will make a pig embryo, right? I already have a mammoth embryo, but I'm yet to actually do the mammoth stuff. Uh, let's see. But I want to revive a pig. There we go. We get pig DNA. And there we go. We'll get a pig. Now, when that is finished, then we'll uh, sacrifice. I think, I think two iron blocks shall be worth it. Eh? It's not really a uh, expensive thing to revive or oh, get a pig egg, and it's a special pig egg. So that's why uh, I'm making the embryo. So it makes sense because you know, getting the embryo and then getting the egg from the embryo and then I'm able to spawn the special pig in and then I have to feed it certain carrots to tame it and then we shall have a pig that we can ride and the problem is the reason why it's only spawnable in I think that's how the mod was designed because I've never found one of these pigs in the wild and I'm also going to sleep the night away and also end today's episode here so hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode have a nice day safe, have a nice apple, maybe with some rushes, so you keep the vitamins, very important. I'm a vice, see you next time, I'm a vice, see you, bye bye!